Good morning. This is Thursday, April 29th, and today's devotion is Gracious Uncertainty. This is 1 John 3. It has not yet been revealed what we shall be. Our natural inclina inclination is to be so precise, trying always to forecast accurately what will happen next, that we look upon uncertainty as a bad thing. We think that we must reach some predetermined goal, but that is not the nature of the spiritual life that God puts within us. The nature of the spiritual life is that we are certain in our uncertainty. And there's a lot of joy and excitement within that, to be certain in our uncertainty. Uh, we have, uh, we used to, have, my wife and I used to know this lady in Fort Fairfield. And uh, not knowing it didn't bother her. She came up through some very difficult moments of losing her son, her only son. And her favorite song was God knows. And that's enough for me. And that's what he's saying. He's saying that there, there is joy in spiritual life to be certain in our uncertainty. And that's what Mary used to say, Mary Everett. She'd say that God knows, and that's enough for me. There should be joy there. Consequently, we do not put down roots if we don't follow that pattern of thought. Because our common sense will say, well, what if I were in that circumstance? What would I do? We cannot presume to see ourselves in any circumstance in which we have never been. Certainty is the mark of the common sense life. Gracious uncertainty is the mark of the spiritual life. To be certain of God means that we are certain or uncertain in all of our ways, not knowing what tomorrow may bring. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. Wonderful song. This is generally expressed with a sigh of sadness, but it should be expressed with, with breathless anticipation. We are uncertain of the next step, but we are certain of God. And it's exciting to know that God has it. That's a great excitement built within that uncertain certainty. As soon as we abandon ourselves to God and do the task that he has placed closest to us, then he begins to fill our lives with surprises. When we become simply a promoter or a defender of a particular belief or tradition, then something can die within us. That's not believing in God. It is only believing in our belief about God. Jesus said, unless you become as little children, that's Matthew 18. The spiritual life is the life of a child. We are not uncertain of God, just uncertain of what he's going to do next. And that's the exciting part. If our certainty is only in our beliefs, we develop a sense of self-righteousness. We can become overly critical, and we are limited by the view that our beliefs are complete and settled because they're from us. But when we have the right relationship with God, life is full of spontaneous, joyful uncertainties and expectancy. Jesus said, believe also in me, John 14, not believe only certain things about me. Leave everything to him, and it will be gloriously and graciously uncertain how he will come in. But you can be certain that he will come in. Remain faithful to him as little children. The challenge I have for us today is, what task has God placed before us, close to us, in which we don't have to be absolutely certain about? We just know that he's going to do something within that task. And could we find joy? I think of that lady I, I spoke of a moment ago. She had such sorrow in her life, but she had allowed God to bring her through that time of uncertainty, and her theme song became, became God Knows, and that's enough for me. So could we be certain in our uncertainty today and find excitement in that? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, our, our certainty and our uncertainty. Lord, it's such a blessing to be able to trust you to this level and know that you have in hand even even though we go through hard times and difficult moments that stretch us physically and mentally you are there lord in these days of uncertainty and lord we are surrounded by so much uncertainty we know that you have it all in hand we are certain that our god has it all in hand so we can relax and do whatever the task is you set before us so lord whatever that task is today that's the challenge would we really Focus in on that 
And don't worry about anything else. Just be certain that that's the one task you placed in front of us. We love you, Father. We thank you for loving us in this fashion. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.